And I am, that's all I'll be. I play all things on land and sea. Let's get right back into some more Dark Savior at the Jailer's Liberation Organization headquarters. Where we have a nice big JLO texture on the floor, because Lord knows we wouldn't want this uh, revolutionary organization to be covert or anything. Oh well. Hey you, giant white tiger with a drinky gourd. Well, I climbed up the wall with the buzz saws and the spikes and, uh, you know, the usual way. Burn! Yes, I am behind it all. Ooh, the four dot ellipses. Rarely seen in the wild. A passion for fashion! Bruno is kind of a styling dude. Alright, next mission more or less will be to rescue Drizzit. I suppose we can do that. And we get a shiny new key. Outstanding. And our next destination will be Dead Man's Castle. Fair enough. Oh, cutscene. Hmm, there's always room for Jello. Science isn't about certainties. Okay, uh, Kurt Ligon crosses a whole new moral event horizon. Yep, he's evil. This sprite actually even looks like it has uh, a little bit of a Hitler stash, and he certainly has the hairdo. A prisoner, I mean DNA sample. Ah, uh, evil masters of euphemism. Foreshadowing? Never. <laughs> Stop explaining. I tire of your exposition. <sighs> Poor Curligan. Meanwhile, back at the JLO. Well, I got nothing to say to that, really. But hey, save point. Also because JJ is a psychotic banana. Yeah, I typically do stay away from evil bananas. And you guys just kind of spill your secrets at the drop of a hat, don't you? Well, whatever the case, I'm going to steal your Bruno. I'll teach you to be casual about your secrets. I'll have to 
upstairs we go. I don't even know if most kids would be able to comprehend the idea of Bilan. If they did, they might be able to comprehend it a little too well, and that would be you know, high-grade lifetime nightmare fuel. Because the week's money spends as well as anyone else's. <laughs> a rare moment of uh, self-awareness from uh, Mr. Criminal there. Anyway, let's try out our shiny new key. And on we go. So the JLO base is carved like right into the rock of the surrounding mountains. That's kind of an impressive bit of engineering. This must be Dead Man's Castle because there's our contact. Let me do a quick swag check around here. I think there might be some chocolate or some such. What's this then? Ooh, tree chocolate. I do love my tree food. Got tree meat, tree chocolate, all of the tree food groups. Couldn't I just press it? Got it. That's a terrible switch. Oh well, I guess the important thing is it got me in. This part is a little kinder than most uh, platforming sections because it at least warns you which uh, sections are going to fall away. Construction chocolate. Almost good as yeah, almost as good as the tree variety. I'm just racking up the nicotine sweeties today. Little crate puzzling of a very minor sort, which thankfully is the only sort that this game really has in it. There isn't any really horrendous uh, block puzzling at any point. Thankfully. Uh, which, oh, I've, I've gone the wrong way. Whoa, hey! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, not too bad so far. And here's our exit right here, I do believe. Anything over there I want? No, that's where I came from. Well and good. And here's my next contact. Well, yeah, actually I will as long as I have some points. No idea why he keeps saying that. But I'll go take a look around for us. I, I've always kind of liked the design of this area. I mean, it's, you know, first generation 3D, but. Well, first generation console 3D anyway. But, uh, it still looks fairly atmospheric. Anyway. Got our nice Dead Man's Castle tower looming up in the background and everything. This part looks kind of bad, but it really isn't. And if you've gotten used to the game's handling of control and perspective enough to get this far, you're really not in a whole lot of danger. And the more complicated parts of the scaffolding have guardrails around them anyway. I say as I nearly walk off the edge, thanks to not paying attention. Okay, we're getting low on time, and a cutscene is about to start, so I'm gonna cut off right here and call it a day. As always, this is Un with I Played a Thing, Dark Savior Edition. Thank you as always for joining, and I'll see you soon.